Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little bit of maintenance here in big time. We've just logged in, just popped into our metaverse, and we're just going to check out what's happening. So the first thing I'm doing is looking on the right-hand side at my minimap and just seeing any green dots that I've got. I'm also using this Shadow Blade because it allows me to use the Ninja Leap to get around quicker. As you start to experience with bigger metaverses, it can take quite a long time to navigate. At the moment, we know that the team are working on this. They're going to fix the corridors. We know they're going to add verticality. So we'll be able to have an upstairs in the future. And we know that they're going to make this whole experience better. This is just early access. But for now, this is what it's like when you log in in the morning. And you just want to check on everything that you're doing. So I'm going to finish my crafts. Now I am going to rebuild and reset this metaverse at some point, but one thing to consider is every 48 hours we have a cracked hourglass and you can actually see those right now. If I scroll up here, there's some cracked hourglasses that have appeared in this space right here. So I can pick these two common up and I can place them into a time warden to dismantle them for big time, which I can use for crafting. Now in order to be able to collect those, I have to be in my space. If I leave my space and then I come back, they will disappear. And so you have to collect them when you are in your space. All right, so, and this is what it looks like. So here we can see I've just dismantled and I've got myself some big time token, which is fantastic. So now I've got that, I can go ahead and I can dismantle some more. I'm going to pay some time crystal feed to do that. So there is a cost to doing this but I'm going to be able to dismantle that. And that is a, a perk to having space. The bigger and the most rare, and the rarer the space you have, the better the hourglass. And I actually did a video covering this. You can check that out on my channel. All right, so now we're just going to head down. We're not going to craft anything more at the moment because we need to figure out what we need to craft. And so what I'm going to do right now, because I don't need this up here. This is really out the way. I'm actually going to remove this right now. There's nothing crafting on it. And so if I remove this space... And I can do that. It's absolutely fine. It's it's something that's just not needed right now. That area is not needed. And later, when the other time one finishes, I can move it back down and just kind of start to make this a little bit more accessible. Okay, so far so good. So now we're going to continue moving down here and go to the other side. One thing to note is that if you're going to attach a building or a work uh, shop, it can only be attached to an equal rarity space. So if I have a legendary workshop, it needs to go onto a legendary space. For example, this is an exalted workshop, and this has to be an exalted space in order for it to fit. So let's go ahead now. We're going to do that. That's an uncommon medium, which has been recharged. So that now has time that I can now go and earn big time within the game. And there is a uh, focus at the moment on uh, recharging. So that's great. I've also got 2,000 workshop points there in my XP, which is going to get me closer to leveling up, which is also good. Uh, you can also see the level that you can uh, you can level up to uh, as you can work through that. So I'm going to go ahead now and recharge another one of these. So I'll take an empty here. I'm going to put that in here. It's going to take 60 hours for this to be available. 60 hours um, for me to get this. Uh, this one will give me one uh, hour into the game, but it's going to take me 12 hours. Uh, this one will give me eight hours in the game, but it's going to take 60 hours. So you just need to bear that in mind. It's quite a long time. This one's going to take 36, give me 36 hours in the game. But it's going to take 192 hours. So 500 crystals that's going to cost to be able to do that. I'm going to recharge that item right now. And we're going to do a bonus roll as well to see if we can get anything. 50% extra HP, 25% charge duration for the hourglass. So uh, that's great. We're going to do that. We're going to continue there with those two buffs. Excellent. So that's going to take two days now two days. We're going to leave that doing its job. And now we're going to continue. So I need to have those running every two days. They're going to uh, fill up for me. And they are constantly revolving. All right. So the next thing I need to do is just head down to here. I can see these buildings that I've got. And we could actually move these. Something I can do today. Yeah, and I think we might do that at some point. We might move these to make them more accessible. So, all right, here we go. That one's finished. Close that out. 
Now we're going to head across to the other side. By the way, these buildings, these workshops, they are incredible. They look so good. When you enter the space, you're walking around. When you enter into this space, you look around, your door's there. You can see behind it. You know you've just come through it. It, it really is good. It looks amazing. And this whole space, it, it looks great. It really does look great. And uh, I love the way you interact. And it actually makes you run around. I did consider at one point it would be very nice to have like a menu where I can see everything and deal with everything. But actually, I think I enjoy walking around the space and it forcing you to do that as part of the gameplay loop. I don't want this to become a button clicking game where I just have to go into menus. I would like a dashboard or a menu to show me the timers remaining um, and what is crafting. That would be very helpful. But I don't want anything that's going to give me bulk actions because I think that takes away from part of the gameplay. And then it just becomes one of those typical I want to make money button clicker games and that's not what this is. All right, so continuing now. That is all of those done. There's a few more there that I can see that I need to go and check out. So we're going to head back and go a bit deeper into the mine. You do get a speed boost as you run through the corridors. You can see your character does speed up a little bit, but it does still take some time. We do need to uh, consider that. So here we go into another one here. Okay, so now this one's done. We've just crafted uh, some more augmented... Oh, sorry. I want to finish that craft. Here we go. Some more blush fire. We're going to use that for crafting our weapons and our items later. All right. And the next one here. So as you can see, it does take quite a lot of time. There's a lot of, a lot of navigating these corridors. And these corridors are a bit of a pain. I really, really hope they remove them. Um, it would be nice to have, or, or even to give you the option to add them, rather than forcing you. Hopefully we will see that. Uh, we can all appreciate this is version 1 of the game. And as a result of that, there's going to be more versions. And so I don't think we really need to stress or worry too much about this being the final version. Uh, it's just the initial version. And there's always going to be improvements that can be made. But yes, for now, very much enjoying this uh, this process. So, okay, that's everything done there. I can come back to this main room now. I can come back into this room now. And I've got an extra door here. And I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to try it. Maybe I can just add this. Might fit. There we go. It's, uh, it's quite a long way in there. It's a long corridor, but it's in there. It's in there. All right, excellent. Let's go back. I can see another hourglass is now finished as well, so I can go and grab that. Another... Oh, actually, no, there's one here that I missed. One here that I missed that I need to go and get. The green dot's really helpful in helping you know where to go. All right, this is our exotic forge. There we go, another one finished. Now, the thing about any of the workshops is you can only craft the item that the forge allows. So if this is a common forge, I can only craft common items. If it is uncommon, I can only cra I can craft common or uncommon. Because this is not a transcendent, I can't even see the items available. You can only see the items for what you have. So here, I could actually craft these exotic items. And as you can see, nobody yet... Nobody has crafted an exotic... Oh, one person. One person right now has crafted an exotic hammer. So, incredible efforts so far for somebody to be able to do that. Um, the next level up from that is going to be Transcendent. So, somebody going for that unique item. Somebody wants that unique. And, uh, yeah, they're very, very, very close to getting that already. Only a week after this game has been released. Interesting. Okay, cool. So, let's head back now before we continue our crafting journey. Uh, we definitely need to get some more big time. We don't have enough at the moment. Crafting is very expensive and it, cons it consumes a lot of big time. So, we have to understand that as we're crafting, we're spending. Uh, it's not just about earning big time to cash out. 
uh, they have an incredible game loop here where if you want to earn some of the big bucks, you need some of those big items, and that requires a lot of big time. And so this, this game, whilst you might think, I'm just going to earn some big time and cash out, you're really not going to earn that much with the amount you have to pay to get it. You need to get these bigger items. So the cracked hourglasses provide me with a big time, and that provides me with the crafting loop. That allows me to continue this cycle. All right, so let's go ahead and dismantle another one here. All right. Now we are going to leave that to... It takes three hours for that to happen, so... We have to keep coming and checking in on those. That's all good, though. We don't mind doing that at all. We're happy to do that, in fact. All right. So that's everything done so far that we can do. So now what I want to do is I want to go and check in my inventory. And I want to have a look. If I was to uh, click on this item, I can see I only have one of these. Okay, if I wanted to have a look at my full collection, I can see all of my cosmetics that I have here. Now, this is all of my hourglasses. It's all of my cosmetics, all of my items. So I can see what I'm building out and what I'm working on here. Um, and as you can see, quite a lot of NFTs in this account. Um, but I still need to level them up. And that's what I'm working on right now. So in order to do this, what I can do, the, the easiest way I can do this, is I want to go down to my armory. And I want my armory, uh, which I've got uh, down here. The armory makes cosmetics. So the forge makes weapons. And the armory makes cosmetics. So I'm going to start down here. And I can see that I have two still crafting. So I'm going to look at this one and see what is crafting in here. And right now I can see I am actually crafting at the moment a headband. Well, that's good because that headband is going to go with the other one that I have, which means I actually still need one more headband because that's the second one. But I need a third. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into here and I'm going to take this and I'm going to craft another one. It's going to take 25 of this augmented terracore, which I've been refining. And it's going to take 50 big time tokens. It's going to take 24 hours. I'm going to use a reroll to boost this. I'm going to get 10% extra XP and 5% faster. Excellent. All right, so that's going to take 19 hours for that to be completed. I could speed it up by paying some big time to do so, but I'm not going to do that. Delayed gratification. We don't need the instant dopamine. And also, it's very expensive to speed things up. If you want that privilege to be able to speed things up, then pay for it. Otherwise, you just have to wait, and it takes time. Big, big time. All right, so. Oh, this is the gloves, sorry. This is the gloves, actually, that are uh, crafting right now. I apologize, it's not the headband, it's the gloves. But that's okay, because we need another headband anyway, so that's good. So now what we're going to do is head back over to the next workshop. So we know we have a set of gloves crafting, which we need. And we know we have a headband crafting that we need. Okay, so now we're going to come across to here, and we can see there's nothing else crafting at the moment. So that means we can come into here. We'll take the next available one that we have. Now what I want to do is I want to make an uncommon headband. And look, it tells me I need three of these. Now I have one already. I have another one crafting, which means I need a third. So I come back to common, come to here. I don't have enough of this augmented terracore which means I need to refine some more. And this is, again, going to cost me some more big time. So we're going to go ahead and refine this now. Uh, we can roll this as well. It's going to cost a little bit, but we can roll this. There we go. We'll do that. And that's going to take seven hours. So we're going to leave that. We'll go to the other side and we'll do the same thing. So seven hours on all of these items. And this is us just refining at the moment. And getting us that material that we need. Now, we can also get that material in the dungeons. If we go into the dungeons, we could be lucky enough to find it. But we can also do it this way. 25% faster. Very nice. That's only going to take 4 hours and 50 minutes, which is great. All the time we're doing this, we're leveling up these workshops. So if you wanted to rent out a workshop and someone was to use it, um, you could passively be leveling it up without even needing to spend any money on it. So if you didn't want to spend money leveling up your workshop, you could very, very easily just rent it out, get some passive income on it, and somebody else can do the work for you. It's a great system. Great system. All right, so we're going to continue here. Speed these up again. This one's 25% faster and five, so 30% faster, this one. This one will be done in four hours 30. Now, this is where I would love to see a dashboard, a little uh, hop key that I can press that would bring up a timer menu and would tell me all of my buildings and how long they have and what they're crafting. 
to know what they're crafting, how long it's going to take, would be amazing. Um, and also, to add to that, it would also be amazing if I could name these, if I could add a name to these. So if we go into our menu and we look at our timeline, we can edit a name to our pocket watch. Now it doesn't change the description, it just adds a name above it, a descriptive name. We really should have these for workshops and spaces. If we have descriptions for workshops and spaces, then we can start to organize our space a lot more efficiently. And we would be able to have in that timer menu that I spoke about, we would be able to have the ability to see which building. So maybe this is common crafting or, or maybe this is, you know, common crafting one, common crafting two, for example. Or maybe this is um, sword crafting or uh, head armor crafting, for example. We can name our buildings and that way we know exactly what we've got, what's made being made, where it is and how long we've got left on it. That's going to make life a lot easier, especially with the inventory management. But again, it's going to take time. It's going to take time, but we're going to go ahead right now and continue refining and continue rolling as well. Now, you can pick up these mod chips in the dungeons. This one's 20% less cosmetic charge and 50% extra XP, which is very nice. We like that. All right, so now we continue on. We'll do these ones as well because we're going to need to do our weapons as well, which is another thing we can talk about in a minute. So uh, I talked about the weapons before. I'm currently doing the Astral Edge 1. So if I went to Uncommon to do the Astral Edge 2, I need three of these, which I currently have. But I need another five of these and I need 100 big time tokens. So something to consider here that to be able to get up to this Uncommon level, I need a lot of this and a lot of this. So I'm still going to carry on refining because I need to do this. I roll these again. 30% faster. Very nice. All right. And that is all of my workshops. Now, the other reason I'm doing this with my workshops, and I've got a few more workshops to put out at the moment um, that are not there right now. But the reason I'm doing this with my workshops is this is going to get me onto the leaderboard. One thing with the, the leaderboard is there are cash prizes at the moment that we're working towards. And so this is another reason why people are crafting so much at the moment. And the emphasis and the focus is on crafting. All right, another one there, and I've got one more, oh, no, two more to do, and we're done. So I obviously missed these out. Again, trying to remember where I'm going. I could have probably laid this out better, more efficiently, um, but it's very, very difficult uh, to get these laid out. This this corridor's crazy. It's automatic when you place it, just it puts it where it wants, and sometimes that's not ideal. Uh, but it is what it is, so we're going to go ahead and keep refining. I don't have enough more. Oh, I do actually have some of them. I just don't have any on me at the moment. They're in my um, they're in my chest. I, I'll go and get those actually now so I can do the last one. But I think I'm out of big time. I've got no more big time left, so that's fine. So I think there was one workshop that I missed right there. Um, but I'll be able to get that uh, in a little while once those hourglasses are done. So yeah, just going to leave that for the moment. And that's it. That's everything you need to know about this. Now I'm going to go ahead and deploy some more space. And uh, that is going to, again, give me some more cracked crystals that I can work towards. And uh, yeah. So what I can do right now, just to show you that process, actually, whilst I'm here. Uh, let's go up the top. We'll, we'll do the top one, because if we do this, I can actually move it at the same time. And I can show you what that looks like. Because I don't need all of these here. I can actually move this one down to a, a better room. Because all of this space up here that I'm running through... It's just deployed, and the only reason this space is deployed is because it gives me the cracked hourglasses. That's it, no other reason. Alright, so we're going to come into here. Now, if I remove this room without collecting this, I will lose it. Now, I'm going to speed this up. It's going to cost me 160 crystals to speed this up. Alright, that's going to give me that big time instantly. There we go, so I've got that big time. Now I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to close this down. Okay, yep, that's now done. I'm going to come back down so I don't have to run as far when I'm doing my crafting. And uh, I don't actually think I can put this on here. I don't think it's going to let me. No, because this one is unfortunately in the way. So I need to find out how long this one has left and what it's actually doing. It's making a common hourglass. Seven and a half hours left. All right, so I've got eight hours left on that. So, okay. 
So for now, I can come down here, try and find some space. I'm just having a look. I guess for now... Actually, I guess for now, it's going to have to go back to where it was. There's nowhere else for it to go right now. Not until this one on the right finishes. As soon as that one on the right finishes, I'll be able to move it and I can use this door. But right now, I can't use this door. It's not working. There's no door on this side. So being able to rotate these rooms is another thing I would absolutely love to see. Uh, when you place the room, coming in here, rotating the room, being able to put that where you want it, that would also be helpful. All right, so let's go ahead now. We're going to uh, dismantle another one. I'm just going to keep working through these. Again, all the time buying, buying crystals. I have to pay for crystals to be able to do this. Okay. That is everything. Now I can go and finish that last um, forge that I have. And get that crafting. And we are done. So the cracked tower glasses I mentioned, they drop every 48 hours. You just need to make sure you check them out. And if you log in and don't claim them, they disappear. Something else to be aware of. All right. Last one. Another exalted here. Can do some more refining. Uh, I don't have enough to do that, but that's fine. I don't need I'm not too worried about it. We'll just leave that as it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. We're done. We're going to head out now and go and clear some dungeons whilst we wait for all of our crafting to finish. Teleports will be another nice thing to have to be able to get to places quicker, especially when you have so much space, as you can see here. Me trying to move around all of that space uh, at the moment, and that's not even all deployed. I've still got another 350 spaces I need to deploy, so it's really going to be difficult moving around and navigating 500 spaces. So I hope the team do uh, deal with these quality of life issues sooner rather than later. Um, but either way, I'm, I'm happy with what the team are doing. They're doing an incredible job. I'm very, very happy with what they're doing at the moment. And so, yeah, just want to continue to enjoy this game uh, for what it is at the moment in this early access. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.